Hey guys, how's it going? Masterworks here. Welcome to the last Bradford City Road to Glory Career Mode episode with the green screen effect. That's of course of the season. Now, before we move on with this game against West Ham and I talk about some of the events in the previous episode, I'm going to make a big announcement regarding this season. Ladies and gentlemen, may I officially commence the start of the Bradford City Marathon. Now, how this is going to work, guys, is because, of course, I read every comment, pretty much every comment, on all my videos, and I'm aware that, you know, you guys want me to upload this as much as possible at a very high rate. So what I've been doing is just going into overdrive, editing videos for the rest of this season. Now, of course, I probably ha I haven't actually played the rest of the season, to be honest, when I'm actually recording this, but I will play out the rest of the season, edit the shit out of it, and as soon as we hit... 3,000 likes on every single video, I upload the next one. And as soon as the next one goes up, as soon as that hits 3,000 likes, I upload the next one. So it is going to be an actual marathon, depending on how quick we can hit that target. If we can't hit 3,000 likes within a day of it being uploaded, then I'm just going to upload the next episode regardless. But if we can hit that target before then, then the next episode goes up. Starts right now. So get going. But again, we got a game against West Ham away. But before we get into it, I'm going to make you, if you missed the previous episode, I'm just going to fill you in on what happened. We traded one of our free agent right backs that I picked up at the start of the season in Tarek Camdow. And we got DeAndre Yedlin, who is the uh, American, very young, you know, very high potential right back with ridiculous pace. And he's not too tall either, which he's only five foot eight. which I don't know. I like to have a little bit of height at my left back and right back spot. But either way, it's exciting because he's making his debut. So if we could pick up a win here against West Ham, that'd be very awesome. And you know what? I'm just rocking a full strength starting 11 side right now to hopefully make that happen. And let's go. Didn't get the right results in the previous episode. Let's see if we can rectify that here. I want a great performance out of all of you. Let's go. I'm excited to see how Yedlin's going to go too. Oh, this is such a poor start. Oh, 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 oh! I can't believe he didn't lose the ball there, but that's an unbelievable finish. That is in the corner, and I think it might have hit the post too. And Macaulay Christianis just answers right back, steps his man, shoots. That is an excellent finish. Perfect. Keeper can't stop that. He's too strong for Collison. That's what I love about Christianis. He's really got the strength that you need for a striker, and that's why he's got it all covered up for it. I love it. Oh, come on! No way! Meredith, you've got to be kidding me. You're having a stinker. You're supposed to be covering Morrison. And now a penalty. I promise you I didn't hit the B button here. Mm. Please fucking hell, Collison. You've got to stop this. I can't believe this shit. Come on, mate. I had a feeling he'd go down the middle. Thank you, Carol. And now the new boy's combining. Here we go. Yedlin's going to take on his man. He's going to keep on going. He's chased. He's chased. I should have let that... Oh, I should have passed it. That is selfish. Selfish by me. Not Yedlin. That was me. I took the shot. Oh, yep. We got them there. Carl, oh, mate. Crucianthus has had a beauty. He's going to try to... No, he can't cross that. He's being way too heavily marked. And again, we've got it. I was hoping Yedlin would have pushed up there, but he didn't. Moy's got it. There we go. Meredith. 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 That's a fucking horrid shot. Meredith, you are having a poor game. Can you pull your head out your ass? Excellent header. I love it. And now we've, he's just got to keep possession of the ball. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, good contact. Just off target. And that is an excellent run, Armstrong. Please score your first goal for Bradford. No! Oh, come on! No, we need to get a win. We need to get a win, and you're blowing these shots. <gasps> What's he done? What's he done? He's given the ball to Crescentis. Crescentis, Crescentis. Crescentis, Crescentis. Oh, that's so poorly done. So poorly done. I don't deserve to get a goal, and I don't fucking get one. I, oh, I need to change this formation, I reckon. Great block, Yedlin. Oh, right at the end. Right at the end, Yedlin is there. He makes a game-saving block. That would have been a goal. I'm getting too frustrated. I think I need to change this formation, which is extremely, you know, inconvenient. But I'm just not getting much done with it. I can try. I can keep practicing. Oh, my God, you don't parry that. You don't fucking parry that shit. Can we get something? No. Get it. What are you fucking doing? You stood there. Oh, mate, we were through. That's a great stop. All right, it's another draw. We can't get a win. To be fair, this is the uh, West Ham, you know, Premier League quality team, top of the table. I'll take a draw away, but, oh, it would have been nice to have gotten a win. And damn, we should have gotten one. But the votes in that game, I am going to give one vote to Danny Ward, who definitely deserved to get a vote. I'm going to give two votes now, and this is going to be hard. I can't, I don't, it was a bit of a struggle for me to tell who should get the three votes here. 
But I'm going to give two votes to Chrysanthus, which is pretty harsh because he really deserves three votes just as much as this next guy. But yeah, the three votes are going to go to Colin. So both joint man of the matches. My goalkeeper, he saved a penalty. Very good. Made nearly 10 saves. It was a very good game from him. And if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have even gotten a point from this game. So yeah, three votes. We have a transfer offer for one of our goalkeepers in John McLaughlin. We've already got like three or four goalkeepers in our youth staff if we absolutely need to have a third one. And, you know, he's 61 rated, 26 years of age. I fucking hate him. You know I do. Only because he's just so bad. But I'm just getting rid of him, yeah. I don't need him. We've already got two very good goalkeepers that I can rotate with. And if one of them gets injured, then, then fine. I'll just play the other one. And if that one gets injured, I'll recall someone from my youth staff. If that were to happen, that'd be unbelievable, but whatever. Okay, so we've got an FA Cup game on the 31st of January. So when we finish this game, we're going to be thrown straight into the transfer deadline day. But um, I'm going to be trying something. Yedlin does not have the right midfield position as another preferred position. But I'm going to play him there and see if his pace can change the game up a little bit. Because, yeah, I've got McGowan playing it right back. And we've got Yedlin as a right mid we will see if he can make if he can do some damage in the midfield. Personal goal, by the way, before we start, I want a clean sheet. So I'm going to have a real emphasis on defense today. I do not want to concede a goal. Good forward defensive. That's I like that pressure. What's going in now? He's going to take them all on here. He's still going with it. He shoots. It's too close to the keeper. And again, I like that. Aaron Moy and Hansen combining. Good touch. Surely got to score. Surely we score. It's a goal with Hansen. Thank you. Whenever I need one, he's always there. I'm liking the way Ward's playing today as well. Oh, that's great. Come on, keep on running. Yedlin's there. He's got the pace to get away and shoot. And oh, I took it first time and that was close. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna apologize for taking that shot because that nearly went in. And again at the back post, it's Yedlin. Yedlin is there, but he's not gonna shoot. I'm gonna try to make him cross it. Great delivery! Oh, Hanson nearly. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, how do he not shoot? Oh, Yedlin. He got tackled right as he was about to shoot. That's a pain. His first goal will come. I know it will. Oh, interception. He snuck up from behind him like a librarian. And he's whipped in. Here we go. you got to shoot this. Please score this. No, it's saved by the keeper, but it's come in. No, it's collected. We should have scored. We could have scored about three or four goals so far. But this fucking keeper's been pretty good. And yeah, just solid defense. And again, send him through. Oh, it's got through. Oh, Pacheco. I'm going near post. Yes! Stop that one, you prick. Yes. Here we go. Come on. You beauty. Oh, Danny Ward, you beauty. You beauty. How's he still got it? Oh, Ward. No, nah, we're taking too many shots and putting them off target. So many great lead-ups that are just going off target. Put them on target. I don't fucking care. Mate, what are you doing? McGowan, you've got to get this covered. Oh, no, we've got a man down. And is that Bates? This is a center back. What's he doing so far forward? Bates is injured. It's a good thing we've got a shitload of really good... Or oh, not really good, but a lot of like center backs around about his overall. Let's have a look at it. Nasty. You always get the injuries when you jump in the air and you make contact. Oh, I like that. McHugh. He's a new sub. The new man comes on and immediately has a bit of an impact. And he sets up something here for Armstrong. Armstrong, come on. You put so many off. Oh my God. He's not going to... Wait. Oh, the third one. He made the tackle, but Ward knew what was going on and put it in for him. Poor fucking Armstrong. I can't imagine how many times he's made... So many good runs, and he's never had the opportunity to get a good shot. Well, no, he's had good shots, he just hadn't put them on target. But Ward can, and I've actually substituted off Ward. Wow, isn't that funny? Oh, God, he made the stop. He's let the cross come in. Wow, he made this. Meredith made the stop, went to clear it, and did a, da did a fucking David Louise, where he just kicked the ball, swung at it, and missed it completely. Allowed them to get a cross in, and they can see. Two minutes to go. My dream of not conceding in this game. It happened right at the fucking end. Because fucking Meredith doesn't know how to kick a ball. We win 1-3. I wanted to get a clean sheet, but Meredith fucked that up for me. And doesn't matter. We're through in the FA Cup, which is great. Now, of course, the player ratings from FIFA 14. Uh, Hanson got the man of the match. I don't think that I can argue that he was very, very good. But what were my votes? I am going to give one vote in this game to uh, Danny Pacheco. I reckon Danny Pacheco will get one vote. Going to give two votes to Ward, and three votes will go to Hanson. Yes, again, I agree with the man of the match decision. Hanson was quite big. He was very, very good and deserves three votes, and everyone else, I'm quite happy with that. And you know, I would have played Krishantis in that game as per usual, but uh, Hanson came to me and said, oh, can I please start the game? Made him start the game, and what did he do? He was fantastic and got man of the match, so there you go. But of course, we did lose Bates, and we've lost him for a month, which is frustrating, but 
That's one injury we've got to deal with. We have plenty of centre backs though that we can fill in this spot. That we can fill in this spot though. And here we are in the transfer deadline day. I'm going to advance on through. I've got no real plans of signing anyone else. I did have a few players I wanted to get on a pre-contract, but I just don't have the wage for them. And unless I sell like a really expensive player, I'm not going to have the wage to get them, which uh, is unfortunate. But that's just how it is. And in the end, we didn't really get any offers of any kind apart from maybe one at the end. Oh my God! No way! Oh, shit. I wonder if you guys know what that means. But anyway, if you saw in the top left-hand corner where the emails pop up, fuck. Okay, um, so I've got a story for you then. I just got this email in the last hour of the transfer deadline day. Because we have a player that is in the last year of his contract that's over the age of 23, it means that not only can we approach players and get them on pre-contracts, which is what I did a lot in the last season, but other teams can do it as my players as well. And on the last hour, one of my players has agreed to join someone else. So Aaron, Andrew Davies, who's a centre-back, is going to go to Sheffield Wednesday. And that's it. He's gone. I can't sell him or anything. He's just gone at the end of the season. So, yeah, that happened at the last hour. I've never seen that happen before. Don't know why I'm smiling. That's fucking annoying. That fucking prick is getting so benched, it's ridiculous. We now have a game against... Wouldn't you fucking believe it? This is ridiculous. The team that actually just took Aaron Davies away. Nah, that's... No, that's ridiculous. But before we play that game, we've got a monthly scouting update. We will see if there's anyone decent here. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, okay, now we'll find out. Let's look. Good's probably still a no at this point. Thomas is a no. Payne's a no. 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 Yeah, maybe. No. No. Not really, no. Nah, okay. So there's not much in the first... After the first two months. Not much. But we now have the game against Sheffield Wednesday, which will be in the next episode. So, yep, that's going to do it for the green screen for this season until the end of, uh, or should I say, the start of season three, where I'm bringing it back. But until then, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'm your game with the Box. Don't forget, 3,000 likes on this video. We upload the next episode, and that's how it works until right up until the end of the season. So, the marathon starts here. Thank you for watching, and peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>